Hi and welcome to Abby's Book Reviews. This is the August book haul. Oh my gosh, how is it so far into the year? <laughs> um, there aren't that many books this month that I've personally bought myself. There are also all the books that are in the YALC haul that is already up. So go check that out because I'm not putting those in here as well. So yeah, um, that's all the goodies I got, the books I bought and any books I got signed as well. Um, there's also, in this video, it was our anniversary at the end of last month, first year wedding anniversary. So um, I have put everything from that into this video because it's all book related, because we decided to do paper, which I know is the American first anniversary, but I got confused. So we were going with America for two years and then back to the UK. <laughs> so first up is House of Furies by Madeleine Rue. I haven't heard much about this. This has taken a while to get to me because it's an American one. Um, but I saw it in a list of books coming out this year and I just knew I had to have it. It kind of looks a bit spooky and scary, which I don't really do too well with. Um, but I'm not sure if it actually is. So yeah, giving it a go. <laughs> Next up is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. So I've seen lots of people raving about this and I was like, oh, I'm not too bothered. And then obviously with God's Grave coming out later this year and I actually caved and bought a box with it in with those goodies. So I needed to read Nevernight first. So this is my book for the end of this month, beginning of next month, so that I'm in the spirit for God's Grave when I get it. <laughs> Okay, next up is the Owlcray book from July, which is Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This is historical, I'm not too sure about fantasy, um, but it's about a gay guy going, I think, with friends on a tour of Europe, which just sounds so good. Like, obviously, Victorian gays weren't really out there. Um, so it'd be really, really interesting to see how it's done and I've heard lots of good things about it so far. Okay, and next up is Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. This was the fairy loot book for last month um, and having seen the fairy scoop, it says like books to read next are Night Circus and Caraval. Having already read Caraval, I'm really hoping I'm going to enjoy it. So, yeah, it's kind of, from what I can tell, kind of like carnival-y in a way. Um, but yeah, I am so looking forward to this. I've seen a few people just finishing it and they are loving it. So yeah, really excited. Okay, and then on to anniversary presents. So this one is from me to Matt to keep it hidden and secret for so long. Um, it says our initials and our wedding date and yes I know it's Bacar and yes I know it's folded book but yeah I just you know paper what else are you gonna do with paper? <laughs> um, but yeah I wanted to show you this for ages because I got it back in May and I had to keep it quiet for two months. So I finally checked the one and I love it. And everyone who comes to our house is going on about it and about how cool it is and where did I get it from. And I got it from Etsy, so I'm going to put the book below so that you can go order if you are interested. It is a, um, it is a UK shop, so I don't know about worldwide shipping, but it was so quick to get to me. I think I got it within in under two weeks from ordering to arriving, which is just so good. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for book art as a present, or for yourself, <laughs> a present to yourself maybe, <laughs> um, I would highly recommend that shop. So it's below. And then from Matt, I got Tales of Beetle the Bard, which is the original one. And he's gonna swap it for me, because I already have it, but you know. Um, and then, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and it's a new one, and it's got six new animals in it. It's also got a forward by Newt this time, whereas the original one has one by Albus, so I'm so excited. 
And it also has the Nifla and Okamami and Thunderbird in it. And it's so cool to see ones that are in the film in the book now. And uh, Quidditch Through the Ages is the new one. I don't know that anything's been added into this since the original one, um, but I'm just so happy to have the new covers. I'd already looked into getting them for myself, and I'm so glad I didn't, because I would have got them for me. He also got me the Fantastic Beast screenplay, and it's just so pretty, and I see everyone taking photos of it, so if you don't know, and if you don't have it, it has a niffler on the front, it's so cute. Um, but yeah, let's see that cover. <laughs> and to tie up everything together, he got me the Harry Potter colouring book, which I am so happy about, and it's got some, like, actual movie stills and some like artwork from when they were making it along with everything to colour so yeah it obviously all kind of themed <laughs> um that is my book haul for august and hope you will join me at the end of the month for my wrap up of the month i have already quite a few books in and i'm hoping i can keep it up for the rest of the month because i would love to try and beat my challenge for the year sooner rather than later i'm 11 books ahead of schedule at the moment <laughs> um but obviously working retail towards christmas might get a bit hectic so better to be ahead right <laughs> anyway enjoy the book you're reading and i will see you soon